Today we're going to be looking at the new default skin for Mania in Laser. So the first thing I notice is the column size. Now if we compare this to the previous default skin, it is a little bit better. However, most modern skins tend to take up more screen space. This is something that could be increased for all key counts. If we take a look at odd number key counts, the middle lane is always twice as wide as the other ones. I can tell that they were doing this to preserve playfield sizes between certain key counts as seen here, but I really don't think that's necessary. Another thing is this bottom part right here. Most skins either have the keys with the bar above it, or just the receptor alone. This seems to be three layers of receptors all on top of each other. If they want to stick to how the previous skin was, they could get rid of either one of these and free up some vertical space. When it comes to the colors, each key count seems to change which color gets associated with which finger. For the lower key counts, this isn't really much of an issue. Once you get to 6 and 7 key, it starts to look messy. Skins usually follow a pattern of coloring to make it easier to read and to know which finger is involved, and this pattern of coloring can translate to higher or lower key counts. Here, the colors just get added from the right, and that shifts each associated finger as you change key counts. As for the background colors, those could be toned down as well. They did a good job of providing contrast between the background and the notes, but a darker color here could look good as well. Moving on to some minor details, someone mentioned in a comment about how the long notes look a little bit confusing. However, when you're playing, you honestly can't really notice it that much, it just looks like a blur. The entire playfield appears to be floating in the middle of the screen. It's as if the notes are being blocked by a cover or something, as well as the bottom having a lot of empty space. Other skins, this isn't apparent at all, and notes are shown at the very top of the screen. The score rendering at the top does take up a lot of space, but I know that this is customizable and it doesn't really get in the way of reading that much. On the pro version of the skin, it uses an invisible graphic for the top two judgments. This really doesn't seem like a good idea as most pro players can distinguish the timing between the two. The key lighting could also be toned down here in comparison to the normal version. That's all the main issues I have with this skin. If you think there's anything I missed, please comment it below. Overall, Argon is a massive improvement from the previous default skins.